What is going on, everybody? Jay Hayes here. So today I'm gonna be doing a review on Dos Chicas two devices that I picked up for the purposes of the review. This is one of those reviews that I'm gonna try to avoid as much as possible. But you know, without further ado, I can't avoid this. And the reason being I can't avoid this is because everybody is talking about it. Listen. I don't really need to get into it and tell you that this review is my opinion. So the two devices that we're gonna be going over are the devices made by the infamous 528 Customs, the dual battery squonker and the triple battery squonker, both of them. And they both are in fact parallel. I would have liked to have seen series just because if you're gonna be running a dual battery configuration, to me in my mind, I think of like noisy cricket mech mod, then again, Noisy Cricket's not a squonk, but the point is, is that if you're gonna make a device like this and make it at the price that it's at, it better piss Jesus juice in my mouth. It better feel like I'm holding 16 bunnies in a parakeet. It's gotta feel really special to me for the price point that these are at. Back in the day, but two reviews ago, I wasn't able to do price points I wouldn't talk about them just because they're not really relevant for someone like me that just buys mods it doesn't really matter but for someone that doesn't have money that is depending on a reviewer uh, or their opinion or a, a plethora of different reviewers to get a device because they trust the words that are coming out of people's mouths then um, you know by all means I have to discuss the price the price has to be discussed these devices are in fact as basic as they come. They're parallel mech box mods. There's screws on the bottom of this. There's little doors. There's a very, very proprietary bottle entry opening thing. So without further ado, let's bring this down. Let me show you what we're working with. There's gonna be not a whole lot we're gonna go over. So we'll flip it. These are the two devices we are talking about today. This is the DS and the TS. I thought that the DS and TS meant for dual series and triple series, not like a series box mod, but like this is the double series or series one, series two, something like that. But in fact, I do believe that this is triple squonk and dual squonk. So I'm gonna show you both of the devices. Open this up, you have a little manual of sorts, small little sheet, lots of different parts here. Holy jeez, that is a lot of parts. The box mod, which we will go over shortly. So you have this little Allen key that comes in the box, which isn't a bad looking device. Got these little O-rings on it. It's actually pretty cool. I may see myself using that. I'll always love a good Allen key because I've been using this big ass jalopy here. So at least now I can kind of slim it down a little bit and use this one. These little discs are gonna go where the 510 is and stop you from scratching the top of the mod since the 5, 10 on the top up here is kind of uh there's no ring for it as it's just the adapter in the center and then you have this little key this key is very important to the design of this tank it almost looks like a real key on the side there you're going to see drip tech ds defiant designs not quite sure about who this company is right here that is kind of written in script on the side there. On the top for the biggest dripper you're gonna fit on the top of here is probably gonna be a 25. So 25 is gonna fit and you're not gonna get much of an overhang on the actual mod itself, but because there is this whole beveled edge you see right here, it's gonna kind of look like it's overhanging, but it's not. So 25 Squonk RSA will work on this. Now you don't necessarily have to use this device just to be a squonker. You can also use it as just the mech box if you're so inclined to. It's a little wide though for what it is. Fire button is gonna be on the top, but you're gonna hold like this and fire down. Allow your ring finger to be down here to kind of squonk it as you fire it. Kind of convenient in a sense, but but you have to have really big hands for this to function the way that it's designed. I'm not saying you have to do this, but if you have a small hand, let's just say right there, trying to reach up is a little bit of a reach for what it is. If it was a little bit thinner of a box, it would work a little bit better than the way that it is. However, because it is a dual battery squonker, you're not really gonna have much room to make this any smaller. On the bottom, this is one of the designs that I do not like. A lot of high-end box mods is this type of connection. This part here is going to come out and once you take this out this is going to allow you to take the bottle out to fill the bottle it's not silicone soft has a metal tube going down the center which is going to act like your hose then on the top you see the male end usually this is a female and then down there is male but there's kind of a plug down there i apologize guys there's no way for there we go so that it, 
it keeps going out of focus. But that is the female end that this tip here is gonna go into. To get this section off right here, you're gonna make sure that these are in fact disconnected from the batteries as you do this, and this is going to slide. Nice magnetic little tray. I'm just really not a huge fan of these screws, so to speak, on how they make contact. They could have been springs, but them being springs, when you put it on like this and you slide it, they wouldn't be able to get past this little lip here. You say so now. There you go. So once you take this off, you're gonna be presented with another extra bottle and then some extra screws and stuff. Wow, not too shabby, all the extra little peripherals in there. And if you do look all the way down there, you are going to see the positive and negative. Now I'm assuming that does mean that those are positive, but being a mech mod, it's not really gonna matter whether or not they're both, and I repeat, they're both positive side down or positive side up. It's going to function either way. Just do not do one positive down and one negative because then you are going to try to make a parallel, a series box, and it's gonna be a very catastrophic result. The bottle that comes with it already has the apparatus inside here and the tube, but it does come with an extra one you see here has a little o-ring so when you are putting this tube in you're going to put it in from the top like that because there's this little lip here and as you pull that that's going to make it tight pretty thick piece of metal you got here it comes with these little tips i would assume these tips are for if you didn't want to use this as an actual squonk bottle you can put that tip in there and then kind of put the cap on with the squonk apparatus inside of there there's really no way to put these on to try to secure them that's only going to be designed for if you're going to use those nipple tips it would be nice if there's like a little plug that went over this or something but there's not as you can see the batteries that i have in here are positive side down you're really going to want to make sure battery safety here is a huge huge issue this is a mech mod so there's nothing that's going to regulate anything it's just going to be the power of the batteries is what you're going to get when you're vaping now you can either elect to put this bottle in now or you can wait till you put the top cap on for the battery tray this is going to slide on just like this and then you're going to take that little screwdriver thing you have and then tighten these down the very outdated technology of screwing things down. Now, if something does go wrong at this point where you have to dismantle this, it's gonna be very difficult for you to extract those batteries because this is tightening down on those batteries, keeping pressure to allow no rattle. And if you do get a hard short, I don't recommend you to take this screwdriver and try to undo it, throw it. That's the best advice I could give you is just throw it. All you have to do at this point is put the bottle in. We're just gonna leave it like that. It's about halfway full, so about five mils. Take this tube goes right in here, and then you squeeze that down, push that down. There is an O-ring in there, so it's a little difficult to grab. There it is. Oh, a little bit of juice is coming out already. Lots of juice is coming out. Just keep in mind that when you are putting this on, you may get a little bit of residual that comes out of the top of this just because the pressure and the tube as it's going in is gonna get juice in it, and then when you push it down, it's gonna keep pressure in the tank, so it may leak. And at this point, you're just gonna take this bottle. I suggest holding this mod upright as you do this, push that in and then you'll feel it kind of press in. Take your little safety squonk cap end. And that's it. It's already getting juice through them. Make sure that you have a dripper on the top of this. Don't do it as I did it. As you see, the juice is coming up and you are putting pressure on the bottom of this bottle so it's gonna kind of squirt up. You're gonna really want to make sure you have a RSA on the top of this when you're putting that bottle in. Now we are going to go over the triple. There's going to be a lot of similarities between the two. The only differences between them is uh, obviously clearly one is a triple, the other one is a double. Both of these devices share a lot of similarities between the Kangertech Drip Box 160 and then the 80. They're very, very similar. However, they're both mechanicals so there's no chip so that is what's different and i know people are going to argue like oh you can't you can't keep making box mods and being different uh whatever the point is either way they are shaped very similar to that see how that comes down so that slides down like that you have it like that and it slides in and locks in and then you have some extra stuffs that was in the same one the first one that's in this one you have the bag of screws 
your extra caps, and your bottles. Three of those down there on the bottom are in fact positive. Triple parallel box mod. Nothing really to go over with the both of these, so uh, I'm gonna bring it on the top and uh, we'll go over it. I actually think you can fire this with just one battery in it. Very important thing to take a note of. As you can tell, there is only one battery in here. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So because they are both parallel box mods, you see there's one battery in here. No jump cuts. This is going to go right on there like so. One battery. Flip this right side up. Again, one battery. You can see it there. Nothing there. One battery. You can, if you were so inclined, to use a single battery in either of these. I don't know why you would want to, but that means you can run double in this if you don't have three married batteries. So let's bring it on the top and I'll give you my final thoughts on both of the Drip Tech box mods by 528 Customs. Back on the top with the Drip Tech DS by 528 Customs. Now the build that I have in here is 8.2 and we are running it on a parallel configuration because that is how you're going to run these two devices. Only parallel. However, you could, if you were so inclined, to run the triple on a double or even a single and the double you could run with a single or a dual. Just keep in mind that however you put the battery in one way, all batteries have to be the same way. Whether you do negative side down, all negative side down, or positive side down, all positive side down, it has to be the same way. You can't go mix and match and don't think that you can make this a series mech box. That's just not safe. It's not the right thing to do. It's just the answer is no. Before you even ask the question, the answer is no. Let me squonk this. I'm going to squonk this and then I'm going to show you how it vapes. Again, it's a mech mod, so there's really not a whole lot for me to show you or even go over. To push the bottle is a little bit stiff. The bottles that come with the drone are a little bit harder than these bottles. You're not going to be able to use your own bottles. They're going to be very proprietary as they're very lengthy, tall bottles that you put apparatuses on the top for it to actually function. <sighs> Okay, so there's a couple issues I have with the dual series. Let me tell you what they are. The placement of the fire button. As cool as it is that it's a top fire, it's a little bit awkward. It's not like any of the edges are sharp or jagged and you kind of feel it. It's just that it's awkward. It kind of gives you like a thumb cramp. I know someone's going to argue and say, Jay, you need to exercise. I do exercise. I go to the gym. Maybe I should just start doing finger exercises so I can finger fuck this mod so it could function properly. It's not that I can't use it because clearly I can. I mean, you, but look at the way my hand is. No matter, if you hold it like this and you push down, you're going to push it through your hand. So you have to have some kind of support. If you are lacking pinkies, then I do not recommend you to get this device. There's probably not a whole lot of people out there that are lacking pinkies, but if you do not have a pinky, then you probably cannot use this device. Well, you might be able to if you use your ring finger, but then that's even more of a stretch to go up here. I feel that the button should be on the side of this mod, not on the top, but if you put it on the side, it's going to make it a little bit wider just to make the apparatus or the device or the item to connect those two batteries to give it power. So it being on the top is probably the most convenient for the size factor that it is. Whether I use this one or the other one, it's not going to matter. They're both going to function exactly the same. If I had to pick between the two of these, I'm going to pick the dual before the triple. The triple reminds me a lot, a lot of the Cup D2 and the Dripbox 160. I just would much prefer the dual over the triple. A lot of people are talking about that 24 millimeter doesn't fit. This in fact is the Psychosis, which is a 25 millimeter, which fits. However, there isn't any overhang, but you could see there where the beveled edges is a kind of overhang. So it's it doesn't hang off over the side, it just hangs off because of the beveled situation. But 25 millimeter does in fact fit on top of the triple battery. I would have liked to have seen 30 mil fit on the top. 25 fits fairly well. Running a triple parallel mech mod is kind of silly. There's really no point. I mean, when you're running it's fucking gnat. When you're running any kind of 
parallel box. It doesn't mean you're gonna get a lot of power. All that means really is you're gonna get longer battery life. There's a little bit more into it as far as the amps are concerned and distributing the amps evenly between the two batteries, but it's not like it's going to give you nine volts. Now, if these were in series, I feel that they'd be a little bit better than what they are. I mean, a parallel mech box that's metal, it's a squonker, so yeah, that's a plus. That's fantastic. The only thing that really makes this special, yeah, the top fire button, but that reminds me of the noisy cricket. Okay, it's a squonker that's fantastic, and it's better that it's not a single battery, and it's a dual just because if it was a single, well, I guess it would be a little bit different because there is no single mech squonks that are in this type of fashion. They're usually wooden and 3D printed. I'm almost pretty sure that these are in fact made in China. <sighs> The biggest issue I really have with both of these devices is this fire button. For what they are, they're decent devices. The both of them, I'm going to rate them exactly the same. There's going to be no difference in the rating. It's just really personal preference as to whether you want three batteries, two batteries, or even you can run either of those with a single battery. Uh, I would have much preferred this to be a single 27 or 21 700 box mod versus a dual 18 just because it's going to be a little bit smaller and it's going to hit a little bit harder than what the 18650s are. They're overpriced. I get it that there has to be room for profit margin, but the price point of where this is, 135 for the triple, 125 for the dual, I feel like they're a little bit higher than what they need to be, especially for being just the mech box. If there was a chip in it, then I think you could essentially justify it at 150 15, 120. There's no other boxes out there right now that are metal that run a dual battery configuration that's a squonk that I can think of that's shaped like this. There isn't any. As far as this is concerned, yes, there is. So this gentleman, Nick, on the Wix Calls Facebook group takes RX 200Ss and I believe two threes and converts them into squonk boxes like you see here. The only difference is, is that has a chip and you can adjust it and make it look exactly like this. So that's why I would prefer the dual over the triple. Three major fallbacks that I have with this. Number one is, there's three major fallbacks I have with this. Number one is the way that you tighten down those contacts on the battery terminals. I know there's not really much you can do because the battery terminals are isolated and it's on a sliding mechanism. I just feel like that's a little outdated and there should be something else that's different as far as finding a screwdriver, finding a nickel, you're out and about, you gotta change batteries, look for that damn tool. Sure, you can put it on your keychain, but that's not the point. The point is that you need a tool to dismantle the device so you can put batteries in it. I don't like like that idea at all. I also don't like the squonk cap. The idea is nice that it's there, that it holds the bottle in, but there's other devices that don't even have a squonk cap that can hold the bottle in with just the pressure of the tube or even the pressure of the apparatus that's holding it together. Again, that's not a huge fallback. The two biggest fallbacks I have are, I don't think anybody would disagree with this, is one, the placement of the fire button. That's my number one problem. It's just very awkward. You have to have big hands for this to work. Someone might argue and say, I have dainty hands and it works. Well, then so be it. I'm just saying that the way that it is for me, I find it to be uncomfortable. And then the biggest, the absolute biggest problem I have is the price point of both of these devices. I know I never really made such a big deal about the price point of devices, but when you have a device that costs 130 or $140, and it's literally a mechanical box that is of no significance, meaning that there's not 30 made, there's not 50, there's thousands of them being made. It's not unique, there's no stab wood, there's no acrylic, there's no resin. It's a metal box with a fire button and a squonk bottle. I'm just putting the things on the table for what they are. Those are facts. So if I was to rate this triple battery box, I would probably give it like a five. And that's just kind of sitting right in the middle. It's not horrible. It's just not the best design for what it is. If I was to rate the dual battery one, I'd give it like a six. 6.5. I can't go any higher just because there is nothing that is crazy about this that's super different. Those three flaws that I pointed out are absolutely huge to me. I mean, they are a huge issue for me. The fire button, yucky. The contacts on the bottom, super, super yucky. Ew just ill and the price point i myself don't really matter at the price point i just know that there's people out there that are going to be spending their hard-earned money and they don't really have a lot of money to spend on boxes and i don't feel that this would be in their best interest to pick up unless of course they like a dual battery parallel parallel keep that in mind 
Boxmon. I would much prefer this in series, which really wouldn't be too hard to do, but you would have to have some kind of MOSFET or something in there to make it a series. But we're not going to get into that, and that's about as fair as it's going to get. They made the goon, and that was huge. You know, every that, that kind of put them on the block. I've known 528 for a long time. I love their monster. I thought it was a great great tank and that's kind of the staple in the 528 series the goon came out later it was kind of popular and then it grew really fast and then everything even nowadays when you get a drip tip you always refer to it as a goon drip tip when in reality they're not even the first person that used an a10 you could go with something that's like the kennedy that was out way before the goon that uses the a10 drip tip it's just i guess goon rolls off the tongue a whole lot easier than kennedy does no vendetta against 528 again i really like the company i just really do not like these devices i don't think they're shit but they're definitely not fantastic, and they're nothing to write home about. And that's where I'm at, and I've got the wheel. Have you, J.A. Sound.